welcome back to the channel welcome back to sarah Humbo. if you're new here you know what to do subscribe and hit that notification bell i'll be giving you updates on nigerian football today we're talking about elijah debayo lotus town's striker elijah, uh, elijah debayo who has been informed says that he would like to play for nigeria we know we have a lot of strikers so we're going to be talking about that today we'll also talk about victor osimen as has been shortlisted as a replacement for Kylian mbappe as at PSG, the Athletic has stated that Victor Simen is one of the players shortlisted to replace Kylian Mbappe, who has stated that he wants to leave PSG at the end of the season on a free transfer. They move over to our last story for today. Um, Nuno Espirito Santo, that is the coach of Nottingham Forest, has given an update on Taiwo Abonoyi's injury after a 2 0 victory against West Ham in the English Premier League. So if you're new here and you're interested in that, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. So let's get into it. Super Eagles eligible forward Elijah Debayo has revealed his intentions to play for the Nigerian national team. The 26-year-old has been on hot form for the newly promoted side Luton Town, scoring nine goals in his 23 domestic league appearances, including a hat-trick against Brighton, which was crucial in placing them above the relegation zone. The best vision for scoring goals and his abilities has been courted by several clubs who would like to boost their squad with his signature. However, a section of the Nigerian football community would like to see him play for Nigeria instead of um, England. I would like to play for Nigeria. It would make my mom happy, make her proud. That's something we've spoken about. Playing for England, well, it would be a case of whichever team or whichever nation comes first. My mom would be proud if I played for Nigeria or England, but Nigeria especially, he said as quoted by Times. The Super Eagles of Nigeria came as runner-up following their 2-1 defeat against Ivory Coast in the 23 Africa Cup of Nations. As reported by The Athletic, Elijah Adebayo's mother was busy cheering the Super Eagles during the final of the Africa Cup of Nations. Wow! Well, as you can see, Elijah Debayo wants to play for the Super Eagles. That is very, very refreshing to see that some players are really, really interested in playing for the Nigerian Super Eagles, you know, because of the way it is in Nigerian football. But I'm ex extremely pleased to hear that Elijah Debayo has the zeal to play for the Nigerian Super Eagles. The only thing is that we have a lot of strikers in the Nigerian Super Eagles team. A lot. We are blessed with strikers. Nigeria so it's going to take something extraordinary for him to feature as a striker in the Nigerian um, Super Eagles team. Yes, it's going to take something extraordinary, maybe injury or him being in a very mad form that will be too, um, you know, too good to ignore before he gets a call. But since he has said that he wants to play for the Nigeria Super Eagles team, I'm sure that the NFF and those in charge will be on the lookout, watching out to see if. Uh, if he performs well, we'll call him to the Nigerian Super Eagles team, even if to feature him in one competitive game so that, you know, we lock him down in case of any time he performs very well or when there's an injury, we can call him up, you know, you understand what I mean? So, he, he is very good. I've watched his game, the hat trick he scored against Brighton. He's very good. He has the eye for goal inside the box. I feel he's someone Nigeria could use, but we also have strikers better than him right now. So, it would take something special, like I said to get him into the Nigeria Super Eagles team. Then move on to our next story of the day. Vito Osimen has been shortlisted by PSG for a possible or as a possible replacement for Kylian Mbappe. Napoli striker Vito Osimen features prominently on PSG's transfer shortlist after Kylian Mbappe informed the club of his intention to leave this summer. Mbappe's contract expires in June 2024 and is set to leave the pack of the Prince as a free agent at the end of the current season. Nigeria International Simen, 24 years old, has emerged as a leading candidate to replace Mbappe at PSG with the club weighing up a transfer approach this summer. Simen joined Napoli from Lille in 2020 and has scored 67 goals in 119 appearances for Italian club. The Nigerian was in instrumental in Napoli's first year at eight times in 33 years last season, netting 26 times in 32 league games. Luis Campos, who works as a football advisor at PSG with a role in the club's transfer recruitment, previously signed Osimen for Lille. You see that these two clubs, PSG and Napoli, they have a relationship when it comes to transfers. 
They have sent Cavani and Lavezzi to PSG in the past and Fabian Ruiz. Now there are talks of Vito Simen joining PSG, which means it's more likely to happen. That's if both teams want to reach an agreement. PSG are well stocked in attacking positions, having signed strikers um, Goncalo, Ramos, Rondo Kulu, Mwani last summer while adding wide forwards Osman Dembele and Marco Asensio from Barcelona and Real Madrid Bradley Bacola are also joining from Lyon. So that is it. PSG are very, very interested in signing or Simen. It's a matter of will they reach an agreement because the um, Napoli have reportedly included a release clause on Osimhen's contract in this latest contract. So I feel that it's going to be um, the transfer to watch out for during the summer because Mbappe is clearly leaving PSG according to several reports. Then move on to our last story of the day. Nuno Espirito Santo gives an update on Taiwo Awoni who scored in their 2-0 win against West Ham this weekend in the English Premier League. Nottingham Forest manager Nuno Espirito Santo has given an update on Super Eagles striker Taiwo Awoni after the forward went off with an injury in their 2-0 win against West Ham. Awoni played very well and has scored eight goals so far in 14 appearances for Nottingham Forest. After the game, Nuno Espirito says, so we have to assess him and see how he is. We all know he has been struggling for a long time and hadn't played much. We have pushed him and he has done more than he should. We hope it's nothing serious, the former Wolves manager said um, in quotes as revealed by Baby Unifoot. Nottingham Forest are currently sitting fifth on the English Premier League table and are six points clear of relegation spots. Now, we see the importance of Taiwo Amoni to the Nottingham Forest team. I'm sure that he would have been extremely useful for the Super Eagles at the African Cup of Nations, but we hope his injury is not that serious and uh, he's going to come back very soon and continue scoring goals for them. So, that is all for today. We talked about Mosimen, um, we talked about Elijah Adebayo, now we've talked about Taiwo Amoni. I hope you did enjoy today's news and stories. If you did, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Clinton Leto. Till next time, guys. Goodbye.